The hills are on fire, the man in the front seat said softly. The whole world is on fire. Now I stared at the man in the front seat for what seemed a long time. Then I said to him, Jesus, Dad, what kind of a nutcase brings his son to a place like this anyway? I'm finally editing the book my son, Justin, wrote about his experiences as my sound man in Beirut in 1982. I'd been a newsreel cameraman since 1967, based in Beirut, Cairo, and Rome. I had filmed a series of terrible wars, invasions, street fights, natural disasters, as well as a shah, a king, and some presidents. Justin had just finished an appalling stint in high school with little prospect of college. I told him that if he went, he would have to pay for it himself. So Justin became my sound man, and one of our first assignments was the Israeli invasion of Lebanon. So it was back to Beirut, serious fighting and the Sabra Shatila massacre. Months later, back in Rome, one of our friends commented, he left as a boy and he came back as a man. A baker's apprentice, he used to call me. I would always bake ciabatta for his visits with his wife and two daughters. My last documentary footage was the changing of Justin's IV in a hospital room at Memorial Sloan Kettering in New York. He had leukemia, and there was some indication that we could take him home if we could manage to change an IV. We spent three months with him there, never dreaming that he would die. If I had known, if I had known that he was that close, I would have held him very close for every minute of those last three months.